just really overjoyed. You know, when you know this day would come, since you were a kid, you knew this day would come. But, you know, you doubt. But when you walk in faith, you know, the doubt can't stop you. Amen. Uh, what people tell you can't stop you. Amen. It can affect you a little bit, but you keep walking in faith. Amen. You know, you can talk faith, but walking in faith is a whole different Amen. Whole different Speak Amen. that. Come on. Come on. Speak it. When, when you, when you know, when you're on this journey, and you know you're gonna be here one day. You feel it. You want it. Um, God's been preparing you. It gets harder and harder as it as it gets closer. You know. Bless the Lord. You know. So that's why I'm so overjoyed because you don't. Most of the time, you don't get the thanks, the appreciation that you deserve. I'm sure my mother understands. Amen. God bless you. You know. But I thank you. I love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yes, sir. You know, I had a huge praise on the inside. Oh, oh, yes. Come on, young people. Oh, yes. gave me this word. You woke me up every morning, all, every morning, early in the morning. You gave me this word. You prepared me. Now it's game time. Lord God, speak through me so that people can hear what you have to say. Amen. Hear and obey. Be doers of the word. Lord God, we thank you so much and we love you and we praise you. Continue to lead and guide us in your word. In your word. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, as God was preparing me for this word, um, Bless him, Jesus. I was taught, I was speaking to so many different young men, so many different people at my job, and um, you know, I was wondering, what, God, why are you dealing with me this way? Why am I speaking to so many different people? Why am I ministering to so many different people at this time? Um, when I should be, you know, just focusing on this word, and it kept expanding, expanding every morning, you know, and he let me know, you have to reach different people, you know, you have to, you have to uh, touch every single soul, and uh, what everyone, what some people need, it's not the same for another person, Amen. you know, Amen. so you got to expand this word, you know, and he, he definitely wants me to tell everybody, you know, because we're living, what's, what's consistent is we're living in stressful, stressful times. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's not you that's just stressed out. Come on, Mike. The, the world is in a stressful state. Come on. Yes. You know, there's shootings, uh, two, two different shootings in one week. You know, definitely the end times. Yes. And, if, and if, if anyone tells you otherwise, you know, the devil is alive. Oh, man. You know? Now that's the truth. So God wanted me to tell you and make sure you know you can get lost in a life of sin. Amen. Speak it. Come on. Come on. Speak you can get lost in a life of sin. Speak it. Speak it. Take your time, sir. 
And God definitely wants me to tell you that every step of a good man, of a righteous man, Come on. they're ordered by God. Amen. Yeah. You know, will you allow God? Will you allow God to order your step? Come on now. Amen. 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 Will you? That's you know, it's two sides of it, you know. You can choose to do what you want to do, you know, but would you allow God to order your steps? Yes. Will you reach out to him, seek his face, allow God to order your steps? Come on. Because when you're in God and you're covered by the blood, nothing can nothing can can affect your outcome. That's right. Now that's the truth. You know. You can you, you can mess up on your own, sure. but when you're in God, He elevates you. He elevates yeah. you. He takes yeah. you to different. Oh, he yes, takes he you does. through different situations. Yes, He does. To, yes, He uh, does. To instill what He needs to instill in you. That's right. And He takes you higher and higher. We haven't seen all God has all God has for us. That's right. You Amen. Know? We're just walking in. So I want you guys to think on that. Let's stand for the real God's word. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to come from Galatians 6, mm. chapter 6. Mm. Say amen when you get it. Amen. Man, I wish some of the people that I invited would have came. That's all right. Preach anyway, sir. Come on. Goodness. Preach anyway. I am so happy to see my boy Edson yes, now. Amen. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 Yes, he is. You know, I should, because he, 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 he has a message on the inside of, on his, uh, for himself. He uh, he brings it through rap music. Yeah. Amen. And anytime he has an event, I go. I support him because that's my boy, you know. That's right. We have those deep conversations. Yeah. I help him, he helps me. You know. True friend, he showed up. Right. I was going to read 8 and 9, but I'm going to read 6, 1 through 9. Because it's a great chapter. You should read it with <laughs> Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such and one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Come on. Amen. But let every man prove his own work, uh -huh. and then shall he be rejoicing in himself alone, and not in any other. In another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whosoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah. Amen. For he that soweth in the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Amen. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Yes. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. The message on today is in due season. Jesus. Come on, sir. People of God, most of the time. God has something much greater for his people than that of what we have lost. Yeah. Amen. Let me say it again. I don't think you guys got it. People of God, most of the time, God has something much greater for his people than that which of what we had lost. Amen. Amen. Most of the time we can not understand why, you know, understand why certain situations didn't work out in our favor. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, we can't understand why we didn't get what we so desperately wanted. We become low spirited. We begin to question is God really on our side? 
not realizing and looking around at what God has blessed us with. Amen. And forgetting that. What God has blessed us with, just this. We can't, listen, I'm going to leave those notes away, but I'm going to speak to you. Yeah. Forgetting what God has blessed us with, we, we can't accept what God has not given us. Amen. But we can accept what God has given us. We can't accept what God has not given us. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very important. Because God gives us things, God blesses us with things in due season when it's is needed and when we're ready. That's That's right. Right. But when there are things that God doesn't give us when we want, He's protecting us. He is protecting us. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know. So what I want you guys to learn is when you don't get something that you wanted, when something doesn't go your way. When trials and tribulations are kicking your butt, on, you have man. to realize that I'm going to trust God 100%. Amen. I am going to trust God 100%. And that's what he's looking for in these days. You know, because it's a hard, stressful time. Yes, it is. But don't be weary in good doing because you will reap. In due season, if you faint not. Amen. You will get everything God has for you if you faint not. Come on. Amen. You know, there are so many times when things don't go our way, we want to revert back to who we was. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We see things aren't uh, working out. We see we didn't get what we wanted. Uh -huh. So we're like, maybe God's not on my side. I'm low in spirit. Uh, I'm not thinking positively, so I'm going to go drink. I'm going to go do what I do, what I used to do, to please the flesh. Come on, Temporary pleasure. Come on, come on. Come yeah. Yeah. Temporary pleasure. Not realizing that God is testing you in that very moment. Come on. You know, he wants to see if you have learned, if you are strong enough to endure. Come on. You know. And, and it's like, I, I, I was thinking of Joseph's story because I love Joseph's story. Amen. You know, great story. chosen by God. He was thrown in prison again. He was thrown in prison. And at that very moment, you know, he could have gave up, committed suicide. At that very moment, he said, God, I surrender all. God, I trust you. I don't understand what's going on right now. It's not up to me to understand, but I give it to you, God. Yes. I understand that I need 100 complete trust in you. Yes. 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 Because you have the answers. You know my ending. Yes. They don't know my ending. Yes. Though, though they slay me, yet will I trust. Yes. Yes. Nothing yes. don't last always. No, 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 though no. they say I would be nothing, right. I trust in you. That's I will right. move forward That's in right. faith. That's right. No, they said, you know, he is this, he is that. No, God, you say I am the great I am, That's so right. I will trust. Yes. So I will move forward. Yes. I will walk in your name. Yes. Right. In yes. faith. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 So what we need to understand is God already has great things for you. That's right. Yes, he does. What you have lost is temp was temporary. Come on, come on. What God wants to give you, eternal life. What God wants to give you, most importantly, is eternal life. But on this earth, he wants to give you lasting, long-lasting blessings. Yeah, yeah. Long-lasting blessings. Yeah. He has wives for you, yeah. my God. He has uh, careers for you, my oh, God. Yeah, he has... Oh my God, joy, unspeakable joy for you, a great life for you. But you must say, God, I I, I give it up, God. I, I give my body a living, holy sacrifice for you, God. I will serve you. I will praise you. I will love you. I will honor you. You are my Lord. There is no one like you. There is no one under the sun like you. God, I know this to be true. You have shown me back then. Way back then, when I was in high school, they tried to destroy me, but yet did I overcome, got something greater, so I know, and this time I'm going through, but I know something greater.
my God, my God. I have seen God blessing right now. I have seen God blessing naturally and spiritually. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. Blessings are coming down. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Saw the devil raise up. Yeah. Amen. 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 I've seen it. But I always stayed who I was. Amen. obligation to impact this world and try to leave it this world much better than how we found it. That's right. When I received the gift of the Holy Spirit, um, um, what was it? April 1st, 2016. Yes, amen. 2016, April 1st, I was I was 21, 20 years old. Um, I was a sophomore in college. And after it happened, um, everyone in the school saw the change. You know, They saw that I was speaking differently, uh, walking different, thinking different, my conversation. I mean, that's the Holy Spirit right there. <laughs> so, you know, I was speaking to one young man, he was one of my closest friends, and he was my, uh, he was my um, roommate. And we, we would have deep conversations that night, and I was speaking to him. And he said, he, he, he grabbed me and tried to shake, shake, he tried to shake me. He said, Mike, you can't change the whole world. You know, it was a reality check. It was a reality check. You know, one man can't change the world, well, but together we can change this world. Come on. Together we can change this world. We all have a role in this thing. Come on. We all have a role in this thing. Come on. We all have a role in this thing. God wants me to tell you, we must become the change that we wish to see in this world. That's it. We Thank must become that change. You know, we can't talk about it. Thank you, we gotta live walk it in the spirit. Out. That's it. You know? gotta live it. We gotta walk in the spirit. Because, you know, this is all amazing and beautiful and encouraging and uplifting. This is what God wants. This is the Bible back in uh, Acts 38. But when we go up there, that's what ministry is. That's right. You know? That's it. Come on. That's, that's it, what Mikey. I find my Greatest gratification. That's right. When I, when I, oh my God, yeah. ministering to people. Yeah, you know? that's right. Healing is, listen, healing 
when you're speaking with someone, they have something that they're going through. Yeah. You have your spiritual, you're in the spirit, so you realize what they need. That's right. And you give them a word. That's right. And they begin to cry, they begin to fall in your arms. Yeah. You know, that's that's what God wants us to do. We all have a testimony. Yes, we, we don't do. sit on the testimony. Yes, we right. go out there, and whoever needs us, what at that time, we give them the word. That's right. Amen. I can touch someone. You can touch uh-huh. someone. You can yeah. touch some. Everyone yeah. in here touches yeah. someone. Amen. It's the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. You know. You know. And this, and this, uh, what God wants us to do reminds me of Abraham. You know. Mm-hmm. When, when God told Abraham, go to a place, you know, he was obedient. He went to a place. He went to a place. He said, you know, Abraham, go to this place. I'll make you a father of many nations. Uh, I'm going to bless you so you can be a blessing to others. That's how you change the world. Be a blessing to blessing others. To others. Right. Come on, go. And, and what we don't realize is, when you're blessing others, uh-huh. that's how, that's the greatest blessing. And now God's gonna uh, bless you greatly. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. When you bless others. Let them know. That's Amen. how you get your greatest that's blessing. Right. That's right. Amen. You know, yes. we get sometimes we get selfish. We want to be the best preacher. We want to be this and that. Lord have mercy. We better find ourselves in the Word and being doers of the Word. You know, we gotta be doers of this thing. Not just we can't just speak it. We have to do this thing. Come on, bless others. God has blessed you so you can bless others. Come he on. has taken Amen. you through so you can help someone get through. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Thank you. Most importantly, people of God. Most importantly, most importantly, people of God, we have to impact each other's lives. But most importantly, men and women of God, the individual himself has to be obligated to a lifelong journey to better spiritual growth, mental growth, physical growth, and leave this world much greater, leave this world a better individual, much greater than uh, we began. Right. We have to become better individuals ourselves. That's right. You know, we can't help someone else if we are not in line with God. That's if right. we are not uh, doing the things of the Lord. That's right. You know, you know, how can you help someone when, you know, when the first thing that comes along. We want to give in. We want to throw in the towel. You know, I was speaking to so many other young kids, um, and and uh, uh, when I was at work or whatever, you know, I was thinking of another young man who used to come to the church, and um, you know, I reached out to him. I was saying, you know, come back to God. You know, Amen. come back to God. Amen. You know, because he was in here at one time. Um, oh, he, he was in here at one time. And he was doing well. You know, I, I, I got a, I, we had a bond. And um, now I see him and, you know, he has, for some reason, have, has given up um, his walk with God. So, you know, that stuff hurts. You know? That's right. That's the job. You know, That's right. You, you think of someone's soul. That's right. You know? That's right. They have a soul. That's it. You know? That's it. Because... We try to sugarcoat things, but it's either heaven or hell. That's it. Come on, Mike. Say that. You, you got to choose who you're going to serve. Amen. Right. I chose a long time ago. Amen. Not a long time ago, but I feel like a long time ago. I chose a, a time. You know? All right. You better go ahead. But I get it, you know. You you get into the world. You get away from mother. You get away from father. You get into the world. Now, you go to school, right. you go to college, yeah. you see what life has, you see what the world is offering you, uh-huh. notoriety, uh, money, um, fame and fortune, and you and you start to lose 
what God was saying. You start to lose what God was saying. You start to try to please your friends. You try to fit in. You Come know. on, Mark. And and, and 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 all of that. You're not thinking, yo. I'm getting. I'm I'm further and further away from God. That's but it. at the end of the day, you're losing yourself. You're That's losing it. yourself. What profits a man the world if he loses his soul? Come on, Mark. But loses his soul. You know, we can get lost in this thing. You know what I'm saying? So, God is saying today. You know, come back. Uh, don't get lost in sin. I know the world is feeding you this and that. I know the world is saying uh, it's looking good, but in reality, in reality, it's nothing but destruction or, in, in, in spiritual terms, hell and damnation. That's you know, right. You know, the, the, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. So that means, you know, naturally, when you're sinning, you're dying physically. Yes. Yes. Spiritually, you're dying. That's right. You know, and we don't want our young people, we don't want anyone, especially our young people, to go too far where they feel like they can't come back. That's come right. To go too far where they have lost themselves and don't understand uh, and don't recall the, the word of God, That's but right. they are sold out completely to the world. We do not want that. You no, know what I'm saying? No, no, we don't. Yeah. That is not a good thing. We want everyone to be back in Christ. Come on. That's right. Amen. Come on. Yeah. You know? Amen. You know? Amen. 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 We also have an obligation to strengthen the church, to leave the church better than how we found it. That's right. You know, that like my brother was saying, uh, the praise and worship leader, he was saying, uh, "This is a new thing." What in what in the generation, the church of now? That's right. Like was saying. That's right. Church of now. You know, That's it's time right. to evolve. It's time to That's take this right. thing to another level. Come on. Come on. You, know? Come on. Come on. you know, it's time to take this thing to another level. You know, and change is needed. Amen. We can't stay the same. No. You can't. No. Change is needed. It is. You can't continue doing the same thing. You can't. Because we will fall. You will fall. You know, we are the church. You know? You know, and that's what God has given me today. You know, He's given me principles and precepts. And I wish a young man was here today. Uh, I met him at work. I was working at a particular site, and he began to just look at me. Young man, he's about 13 years old, and he, he get. I saw him looking at me, so I went over there and t spoke with him. Yeah. Just started a conversation. He said, man, I like your Jordans. I said, thank you. <laughs> so I began to speak with him. And he just began to tell me his life story, tell me what was on his mind, tell me what was, what was hurting him, you know? And at that moment, I realized I just have to listen, you know? Right, listen. I just have to listen. This, man, this young boy is going through something. And it's funny because he went through the same thing I went through when I was a kid. Yeah. And I could I could relate to him, and I was, and I was listening to him, and I couldn't believe it. I was in my mind, I'm like, this little white boy, I see myself in him, you know, I see myself in this little white boy, and I wish he was here because the the goodness that he has inside of him, those principles and precepts that he has inside of him, he doesn't even realize that it comes from the likeness of God. Come on, come on. that that he is, you know. He has all of it in him and doesn't even know that it comes from the Heavenly Father. Amen. You know, you know that's right. You know, and it, it was amazing to see. And I invited him, but unfortunately, he had some uh, family things he had to deal with. You know, God will put you in situations, you know, where you, you know, you're in the midst of, 
of people, you know, turning up or whatever. You're in the midst of like, the midst of people. And uh, you're like, God, why am I here? Why have you brought me here? It's like Abraham. He just he just obeys. He just goes. And, he, and he's a blessing to others. You're, you're, you're saying to yourself, why am I here, God? You know, and a few hours later, it comes. It becomes apparent why you're there. You know, you you listening to the chatter. You're listening to what's going on. Uh, uh, you're listening to what's going on, and you realize the soul you're there for. You know, you realize the soul that you're there for. You're listening. You hear the brokenness. You hear uh, what's what's hindering them. You hear that they have heart in their heart. That they have, you know, and. And, and a friend says, you know, I'm not getting through to her. Get through to him. Can you talk to him? Can you talk to her? You know? And I, and I know exactly why I'm there, you know? And you know exactly why you're there. And yes. then, and you know, yes. and you tell him, you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a word. But what you think I'm going to say is not what I'm going to say. It's going to be a totally different uh, uh, word that you think I'm going to give, yeah. you know? It's going to be a spiritual word because I feel the brokenness. I hear uh, God speaking, you know. And and before I left, and when she came back before I left, I told her, I told her, you know, two things. We do good because it's right to do good. Yes, that's right. Two, I do not care what happens in this life. I don't care what happens in this life, in this world, how terrible it is, how how strenuous it is, how how devastating it is. Do not allow that to change who you are at the core. Do not allow that to change you, to do things that you wouldn't normally do, to 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 go out and follow the other, uh, follow the. Follow the crowd. That's Do right. not let it. I don't care what happens. That's, That's right. right. You know, and she began to cry. That's right. Speak to me. She young. began to cry. That's yeah. right. You know, she falls in your arms. He falls in your arms or whatever. He begins to cry, you know. And then you realize at that moment why you were there. Amen. Why you were there. You're supposed to touch a soul. Right. You saved her from herself. Yeah. You know. Yeah. She, you know, she, um, she, and then she says to you, uh, she says to you, you know, you have no idea, but that's exactly what my father said to me before he died. Wow. Uh, you know, wow. you know, Lord, walk in the spirit, not after the flesh. Wow. You, know, you can do great things. Yes. God wants yeah. you to do great things. Yeah. But allow God to order your steps in his yeah. word. Yeah. You know, yeah. Allow God to order your, ste your steps in his word. Yes. You know. There, there are, you know, there are two paths, really. That's it. You know, with everybody else, or what God has for you. That's right. What God has for you. He hasn't failed me yet. You know, he hasn't failed me yet. He continues to to bless, to elevate. Yeah. That's right. To elevate. Yeah. I just want everyone to get what they have. That God has for them. That's right. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. You know, older people they lived. <laughs> they understand. Yeah, we have. Yes. Yeah, we have. Yes. They yeah. have reaped the harvest. Yes. Yeah. You know, they have not uh, given up. Yeah. They they they, yeah, they, they continue to do good and wasn't That's weary. Right. They didn't give up. Yeah. You know, they reaped the harvest. Yes. Will you reap the harvest? Amen. Amen.